Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has finally agreed on its first cut on oil output since 2008. Saudi Arabia accepted a big hit on its production and agreed that Iran freezes output at pre-sanction levels. Brent crude futures jumped 8% to more than $50 a barrel on the news. Of course, Saudi Arabia would contribute around 0.5 million barrels per day by reducing output to just over 10 million barrels, while Iran would freeze output at close to current levels of just under 4 million barrels per day. Now, OPEC said it would exempt Iran, Libya and Nigeria from cuts as their output has been crimped by unrest and sanctions. Well, let's get some more insight from Guy Henderson. He joins us in Vienna. Guy, as always, welcome to the show. So it looks like OPEC finally has a deal to cut production finalized with news that even Russia is on board. Now, give us an update on the talks and, of course, how the agreement will possibly look like. Well, a few days ago, um, Goldman Sachs, uh, one of the, the big analysts, um, advising markets on the likelihood of this deal rated the chances of a deal about 30 percent so um, the fact that this has come through and at the last minute after a full day of talks um, would have a few days ago been seen I think as a, as a big surprise um, the Secretary General in a closing press conference here said it was a, a great success um, and as, as you'd outlined some of the details there um, 32.5 million barrels a day is the reduction in output that, that all OPEC members have now um, committed to. We knew that back in September. What wasn't clear and what's been wrangled over since then um, is exactly how that would happen, how that cut would be shared amongst uh, the members. Um, Saudi Arabia, um, I mean, the, the full list is yet to be released of each country, but from what we understand, Saudi Arabia has agreed to cut uh, by 486,000 barrels a day, um, something it says will be a big hit. Speaking to analysts here, they seem to think that that is about in line with its current um, market share spread across the other OPEC members. Um, Iran, as you say, another country that um, has um, committed to a freeze in production, not a cut, but a freeze um, at about 3.7 or so million barrels a day, um, nearing um, what it sees as its pre-sanctions levels, because of course it argues that it's on its way back. Uh, its oil, oil industry is on its way back and recovering. Um, but a big part of this commitment as well coming from non-OPEC countries, they have committed uh, apparently to a, a reduction, quite an ambitious reduction, or certainly how, that's an, how analysts see it, of, of uh, 600,000 barrels a day. Mm. Well, Guy, we're already seeing oil prices reacting posit positively to that, uh, that news that OPEC finally agreed. Deal or no deal, what is the outlook for the oil price? What did you say? Brent crude, which is one of the big international ben benchmarks, leapt as soon as the uh, deal um, or news of the deal began to be reported, which often comes before the official press conference. Delegates walking in and out of here and um, leaking various details from the meeting to the media it leapt 8% or so. Um, but there is uh, one important potential glitch which analysts in the building are, are talking about here, and that is that this entire deal seems to hang on uh, the commitment of non-OPEC countries. So um, OPEC uh, members are unlikely to um, commit to this production cut target unless that 600,000 um, barrel re uh, a day reduction um, that has been uh, pledged in principle by non-OPEC countries, uh, unless the, the non-OPEC countries are, are able to exactly explain how they, they plan to do that. Uh, now, we know that Russia has, uh, is, is likely to commit to about half of that 600,000 or so cut, um, but what we have absolutely no detail on at this stage, um, it seems, is who else will make up um, the, the other half of those cuts uh, and indeed officials here said that that was yet to be finalized so um, there will be discussions in that on that over the coming weeks um, and that could actually have an impact on whether this deal ever takes effect at all uh, and therefore obviously would have um, a significant impress, impact on bringing the, the price of oil down again. Well, we'll certainly be watching that. Many thanks, Guy, for those insights. Guy Henderson joining us in Vienna.